start that recording and start that stream. Welcome to Telling Tales Thursday. We are once again into ye olden Bavaria for Pentiment. Chapter 5. Trying to solve another murder. And uh, we've given, been given, thankfully, a little bit more time to do so. But we'll, uh, only time will tell if it'll be enough in the long run. So, let's get right back into it. Oh, I don't need Spotify up right now. Turn that off. Silly me. We're not playing music right now. Uh, I think everything else is good, though. So, uh, yeah, let's get right back into it. What the hell is it? What? Was this always here? Yo, that's cool. I don't have to hit the buttons now. I this this seems new. I I did not have the ability to do this with my pointer before, but I'll take it. Uh, some of the farmers barge into our room, drag us to the commons, demand I give them the killer's identity. The mob was interrupted by Agnes Steinauren, who shamed them into relenting for the benefit of Rachel uh, Summerfield's unborn child. The evening was punctured, punctuated by the arrival of the Duke's Herald, Tristan von Fraunberg, who threatened to unleash soldiers on the town unless the abbot is released before sundown tomorrow. Okay, right. So, our main suspect for a long time running uh, was... Let's see. Do, do, do. Oh, now it's gone. Can I bring it? Oh, I just had to click, and then the menu comes up. I just never thought to do that. Okay. Um, who was our prime suspect? It was... No, no. 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 Where, where are they? Did I miss them? I might have missed them. It was Guy. Nah, here it is. Guy. Yeah. We thought it was Brother Guy. Uh, he had the most sus activity going on, having stolen from the Abbey and raised the taxes on the people. Uh, but, turns out, he was doing that to fund a uh, a series of, of uh, charities, basically, to, to help out Jewish people from his homeland. Uh, who were getting persecuted. So, you know, that's, that's kind of a noble cause. Um, unfortunately, it does seem like it's at the expense of all the townsfolk making their lives harder. Uh, brother guy gave me a note he received shortly from Autumn Miller. So it's just Autumn New, the Abbey's financial... Yeah, and then Autumn knew it, so there'd be a motive for Guy to murder Otto so that Guy uh, wouldn't be exposed. As fudging the numbers. Um, Otto saw him writing in the Abbey's financial ledger and run about it to firm to prove the Abbey. Guy confessed to Father Thomas that he was embezzling money from the Abbey. Mr. Amelie told us, yes, okay. Right. Uh, Golden Hand. Vesper. Note he received before Otto's murder. Why? Why are none of these detailing the thing that we saw. Oh, we also found out Martin Bauer is not actually Martin Bauer, but he has no reason to follow through on, on committing a murder when he's trying to lay low and conceal his identity. That wouldn't make any sense. Um, Counts people coming in to confess their sins. Leonard Mueller. If we invested what's happening, he must know something. Pass around the golden hand. Okay, so the other lead that we investigated by going to dinner with them was going to the Mullers, the Mullers, 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 whatever. Um, and the 
dad's kind of an asshole, but that's not really a reason that he would murder Otto. So, I don't know about that. Um, but, that is a lead. We already investigated the Confessions lead. We've already investigated the Martin Bauer lead. The only other thing we could pursue is this Golden Hand lead. Uh, but I don't know if we'll even have time to do that. So, yeah. Alright. Enough of that. Is it, is it the morning or is it bedtime? Oh, okay, it's morning. All right, new morning. So Mr. Mueller invited us to go hunting with him. So we'll see if that is an option now. Actually, here, let's take a look at the map. Yes, okay, that is an option as well as uh, the Golden Hand Inn and the Mill. Oh, and the Shrine of St. Sashia. Um, where we saw somebody running away in the middle of the night. But I don't know if that's really a great lead to pursue. Considering that we saw them running past us. And then moments after they ran past us, that's when Otto, or somebody screamed. And then we went to investigate and then Otto's body fell. So it, was, it, was, it could be... That person who ran away killed Otto, and then somebody screamed later because they just found the body. Maybe. That is a possibility. But I kind of want to investigate Miller more. Because he has a lot of very aggro opinions about the townsfolk. So, we'll see. Joshua. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, let's go to the mill. Everybody's at the ruins. Everybody's at the ruins. Is there anything at the abbey? Investigate. Let us see, Elsa, vibing, hopefully not getting harassed by your husband today. Ah, Andreas, look at this day. How do you feel about a hunt up in the mountains? <laughs> With soldiers surrounding the town, are you sure that's safe? They're surrounding the peasants. The Duke knows I support the abbot. I always have. You and I aren't in danger, Andreas. If we want to hunt, we can hunt. I don't even... I Maybe I'm not even going to be allowed to pursue this lead. I'm investigating Otto's murder. A hunt hardly seems appropriate. If it would help, I can tell you what I know, and I know a fair deal. What do you know? No. Come hunting with me and I'll tell you. That's... that's very bold. And we know... The other thing we found out in Confession, uh, was that somebody... I think it was Miller was cheating on his wife with someone else. I think his son saw it. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm wondering if, like, that might be what the lead in the woods is about. Like, we follow that trail. It'll, it'll be like, ah, oh, Miller was cheating on his wife with somebody in the woods. But it doesn't have really anything to do with the case. So I'm going to stick with my gut. We're going we're gonna to go with Miller. All right, fine. Wonderful. You'll have to leave the boy behind, though. He'll slow us down. <sighs> I understand. Casper, you can stay here with Paul until we return. 
All right, master. Ooh, look at this view. How's the climb suiting you, Mailer? It's a bit more challenging than I was expecting. The worst is over. There's only a little way to go. Rest for a moment and let me know when you're ready to continue. Mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Ooh, nice view. Let's see all of Tasting and Kearsau from here. Probably enough time for a quick sketch. Ooh! Despite all of Tasting's troubles, it looks peaceful from up here. Why is this so hard? Wow, it's just like we're playing Life is Strange 2 again. It's like my mind just wants my hand to stop. I can't even draw something as beautiful as this valley. What do you mean? You're doing a great job. What are you on about? Useless. Ugh, what a waste of time. Okay. Oh, rocks. Snow in June. Some parts of the Alps. Uh, in some parts of the Alps, the snow doesn't melt until late summer. Look, you can see the Duke's soldiers getting information around the town. Peter had no idea what he's gotten the peasants into. Come nightfall, it'll be too late. You seem rather happy about the whole situation. I am. It's about time the peasants were brought back in line, reminded of the order of things. Hmm. All that space devoted to fields. It's a pity we need the peasants to work them. Why do you hate the peasants so much? I'd say they're worthless, but they do necessary labor, I suppose. Even so, they're filthy brutes, idiots to the last, fit only to toil. It's hard to really think of them as people. How did you develop such contempt for them? My father taught me that if you try to help a peasant, they'll only drag you down into their muck. Like a dumb cow stuck in mud. It's best to leave them to their fate. Still, their women are of some value. Don't misunderstand me. They're as stupid as men, but they do have some charms. When they're young, of course. They age like buttermilk in the sun. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, that's enough talk for now. Are you ready to head up? Ah. <sighs> Yes, let's continue. Ooh. Deer come through this clearing all uh, at all times of year. There's a natural blind up ahead. We can watch from there. Look at him with that fucking blunderbush. 1600s. They were just coming out with these things. I have to admit, I didn't think much of you when you were last in tasting. Poor artist and all that. What changed? You made something of yourself. Became a master in Nuremberg. Seven years, you've gone from boarding in a run-down peasant's hovel to running your own successful workshop. Men like us are, make our own fortune. <laughs> Didn't your father build the mill? The old mill. I built this one. The only wind windmill in Bavaria. Oh, okay. With his fortune. You're missing the point. We've built something for ourselves. Peter Gertner will toil the same field his father did until he drops. Big Yorg will do the same. Peasants ask for the world, but they can't even comprehend what's outside of their tiny plot of land. 
But where's this conversation leading? This rebellion with by the farmers, it won't go anywhere. Whether it leads whether it ends peacefully or violently, they won't win. If they need a scapegoat for Otto's death, look to Martin Bauer. We know oh man, we know this is bullshit. Come on. Why would he want to kill Otto? Martin didn't want to support Otto's little rebellion. He was quite happy with the way things were. Something changed recently. I think Otto learned something about Martin that Martin didn't want to let get out. It was dire enough to change Martin from resisting Otto to wholeheartedly of supporting him in front of the town. And how fortunate it was that you were eating with Werner, Werner and Baltus when the murder happened. It must have been Providence. God wouldn't want me punished for something I didn't do. Shh, get down. He's here. He's there. See him? You'll lead. I'll follow. Oh boy. Hey! That, yep, I see him now. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, sure. Take the shot. I took it. Bro, you gonna fucking deafen me for life? <sighs> what was that? see you hit the deer bro I think you're kind of bullshitting us right now this gun isn't the most accurate weapon but I hit the deer what more do you want <sighs> oh relax mailer you're fine let's find the stag I can't have gone far the fuck is that line in the ground It's not dead yet. Looks like we both wounded it, but not enough. It's easy enough to kill a dumb beast when it's helpless. <laughs> right, it takes a fucking year. What are you doing? Andreas? How long does it take you to reload yours? So you're just going to kill me up here in the mountains. Do you think that's going to make this all go away? No, but it'll make you go away. Mm. <sighs> Never mind. Good. We can pretend this never happened. Now then, let's find a long stick to carry the deer. I I think I found one. It's right there. Mmm. Yummy. It was a good hunt. Thank you for coming with me. I went with you hoping you'd tell me something useful about Otto's death. And I did. Maybe it wasn't what you wanted, but I don't really care about what you want. Think about what I said about Martin. I'll look into it. I'm glad to hear it. Good luck, Andreas Mailer. Yeah, I fucking... Sure. I'll look into it. There's nothing to look into. It's fucking bullshit. Anything to say, button? No? Alright. Uh, who do we, who we get to eat lunch with? We have lunch at the Zimmermans, lunch at Werner's. Uh, lunch at the Golden Hand. Or lunch at the Prioresses, which could be providing food to the church. 
which I kind of want to do so that people don't die. I think I might do that. Unless... Oh, Zimmerman's... That, that, that's auto, right? That's also an auto. Yeah, that's... That's Elsa. Or Ava, excuse me. Uh, I could have a meal with her. She's, uh, having a rough time of it. But let me see if the church needs me. What do we got? Go to the cloister. Priorises. Yep, that's what they're looking for. Um, I probably shouldn't put this off. Yeah. Yes, I believe so. Good. Sister Gertrude and Sister Matilda will go with you. My god, this place is a mess. What have they done? I don't know about this. Hey! No one's supposed to be in the church. What are you doing in here? Take it easy, Carl. The sisters are trying to just do their jobs. What are you talking about? Needed to clean the crypt and say prayers for the abbots and abbesses buried there. Assuming you haven't looted all their tombs as well. Hey, that's not. Uh, I mean, Peter told me not to let anyone in the church. Give him ideas. Uh... Just do us a favor, Carl. It won't take long, and we won't tell. I don't know, Andreas. Peter was pretty adamant. Hey! Orator background coming in clutch! No one needs to know we were here. No one needs to know we were here. Christ, fine. To the crypt and back. I'll kick you out if you try anything funny, got it? We won't take long. Thank you, Carl. Andreas, was that really necessary? What? I literally just said do us a favor. It worked, didn't it? Hmm. Quickly, this way. We don't have much time. Sister Gertrude, Sister Matilda, what are you doing here? How did you get past the peasants? Andreas helped us, Father. Mother Illuminata thought you might be hungry, and Andreas agreed to bring us here. Oh, praise God! We are starving. Thank you, Saint Satia. Bless you, sisters. Sisters, what's going on outside? We've seen little and heard less since we've been here. Master Mailer ought to explain. We've seen little firsthand from the convent. Everything's under control, mostly. Come, let's eat, and we'll explain everything. Father, will you lead us in prayer? What? Of course not. Thank you for the meal, sisters, but we must keep to custom. What? We need to keep Carl think we're cleaning the crypt after all. I don't think... Oh, fine. But only for the sister's safety. And only for this once. 
Bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts, which are we are about to receive from your bounty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 I don't understand why that would keep them safe, but okay. Amen. It's good to see some friendly faces. Thank you for blessing us with this meal, sisters. I'm sure it will restore our strength and vigor. These old bones don't have any vigor left, and a meal probably won't help, but being, being stuck in the drafty library isn't doing any good either. I don't think you've ever had any vigor, old man. Ha! I'm sure you won't have to remain here long. Andreas was very helpful in getting us past the Watchman Peter set. I'm just glad I could help. Thank you. Your kindness is appreciated, Andreas. Thank you. Mmm, red wine. Take some bread first. Nom, 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 nom. How long will we be stuck in these drafty old, this drafty old tower? I need Sister Gertrude's medicines. Don't worry, Brother Adok. I'm sure I can deliver them. Have you found any evidence as to who really killed Otto, Andreas? Well, I do have some suspicions, but I can't confirm anything yet. Good God, Andreas, what are you doing here? You must convince them it wasn't me. I'm doing my best, Father. Please have patience. Hm. Not your neck on the line, Mailer. Come, Father, eat a bit. I found a good meal settles nerves as well as any medicine. Some of that red wine. There was an awful lot of crashing last night. Was anyone hurt? No, but there will be some holy hangovers tomorrow. They tiled this to file the sacristy. Sacrilege. Oh, no. Oh God, may God repay them their due. May God repay them their due. Brother Matthew, calm yourself. What good? What use does a Benedictine monastery have use uh, have for gold goblets, anyways? Andreas, we are not an order that subscribes to Apollos as as past a pet. Jesus. Apostolic poverty, like the Franciscans. The Lord can be glorified through the treasures of this earth that he gave us. Yeah! Really? Okay. Yeah, I remember a, a certain movie, uh, you know, portrayed this, this statement pretty, pretty vid vividly. I simply think you could glorify God with wooden goblets just as much as gold ones, if it helps the town. These vessels hold the Eucharist, the body and blood of Christ himself. Why should he they be made the, of the purest metals? Brother Matthew, please. Apologies, Father Abbott. Let's get this cheese! So, Andreas, do you have any idea about who the real killer might be? It's too early to tell yet. Prime suspect. <laughs> uh, of course. Well, I think I saw the murderer running away that night. I could be very helpful in your investigation. What do you think you saw, brother guy? They were wearing a festival costume, I think. So it can't have been one of the brothers then, obviously. And dark hair, too. Definitely not one of the brothers. Dark hair. Who is dark hair? That we could investigate. I'll look into it. Interesting. Thank you, brother guy. I'll look into it. 
Of course, Master Mailer. We all want you to catch the one really responsible for the crime. Well, it's good to see you all safe and well. I'm sure Andreas will have all of this fixed soon. Thank you for allowing us to share a meal with the brothers, Father Abbot. Brother Wolfslaw. It's good to see you well, Matilda. Hmm. She's a sister, Brother Wolfslaw. Yes. Glad to see you are well, sister. May you go with God. <laughs> and you as well, brother. Ooh, sussy! Sussy relationships. Please thank Mother Illuminata, Sister Gertrude. And Andreas, we're relying on you. Please hurry in your investigation. I'll be as thorough as I can, Father. Come, Andreas. We better get back before Carl so gets suspicious. You too, Casper. We'll see you soon, Father. If all goes well. Quickly now. Back through the crypt. We're just leaving the place like this? Oh dear. We don't have time to actually clean it. We'll have to hope they don't come back down here. Finally. How long does cleaning an old crypt take anyway? That was ages. Well, what do you expect? You and your ransacking friends have been making a mess of it all night. Whatever, whatever. Or whatever, whatever. We're supposed to switch posts soon. Hurry up and get lost. Thank you for escorting us, Andreas. We'll let, let Mother Illuminata know how the brothers are. Good luck with your investigation. Alright. The final piece of investigation. Let's see what we can we can scrounge up here. Assume the map is the same as before. Yep. Okay. Dark hair. So we gotta keep an eye out for dark hair here. Who would have dark hair? I mean that kinda knocks out Miller. And Guy has no reason to avoid implicating him. So... Hmm. Smokey, you got anything to say? No? Okay. Who are the suspects right now? Suspects are... Uh, Martin Bauer, Mueller, Affliction. Uh, nothing there. Another murder. Thank John Thieves. Paying respects. No, okay, that's just old stuff. Uh, until the end of the day. Mika Berger. Duplicitous action. Duplicitous actions. Yeah, okay. We. Or duplicitous counts. Jesus. Martin Bauer, auto murder. So. We we don't really have any evidence on Mueller. He, he obviously didn't self-implicate. Um, and none of our other leads point in his direction. The tip that Guy just gave us points us towards the... Uh, points us towards the guy, the person running in the forest, but they have dark hair. Mueller doesn't have dark hair. But neither does Martin Bauer. Also, what the hell was Guy... I mean, I guess there were other brothers in town. I guess that's not that crazy. But... What were you doing at the site of Otto's murder? To see a man running away from the scene of the crime. I am very torn. Between... Uh... 
between the two remaining investigation spots. I'm not, I'm not sure. It can really go either way. The drukers. Anything to say, class? Nope. Oh, is the baby born? Have they finally gotten... This is a long delivery if they are still going. But, I mean, it's not impossible. It's still going. All right, bye. This is getting out of hand. Anything else going on here? Note. Ulrich. Hmm. He has dark hair. Master Andreas, can you help me with something? I can't show mom and dad because it's a secret. I can keep a secret. It's a note, but I can't read it myself. I thought the purple ink was pretty. Oh! Ulrich! Ulrich implicated? He knows who you are now. He won't stop. The rat house. After St. John's fire. What do you think it means, Master Andreas? Whoever gave Martin this note knew that Otto had figured out his secret. Oh! No, this was a thing that... Sorry, this was for Martin. This isn't for Ulrich. Right. But again, the the Martin Bauer replacement has... Why would he kill... Like, killing somebody is the last thing you'd want to do to stay under the radar when you're trying to become a... You know, assume a new identity. And, like, he was pro... Well, no, he was against... Otto's... Uh, maybe I should talk to him. I should probably talk to him. You can keep the paper, Master Andreas. Just don't tell anyone where you got it. Promise? I won't tell. Good. I'll see you later, Master Andreas. Goodbye, Anna. Be good. Let me check in on my, on my boy. My boy, Andres. Okay, yeah, everybody's freaking out about that. That, you know, it's fair. How y'all doing? Yeah? Okay. Hello, Master Mailer. Mr. Bauer. You won't talk to me. Okay. Hello again, Andreas. Was there something you needed? Cat told me that wolf passed. I wanted to give my condolences. Oh. Thank you, it's... Uh, I try not to think about it. You don't want to remember him. I, I, I do. Of, of course I do. Do you really? No. Oh, I don't know. How do you mean? Uh... Did I do all I could for him? I cherished him. I tried to protect him. But it wasn't enough. Maybe God took, maybe God took him from me cause I, because I wasn't enough. And maybe it's good Wolf died if Mary in Heaven would be better mother for him than I ever could have been. Even Mary could not save her son, Brigida. But isn't it she who women are called by the Lord to emulate? Yes, I suppose. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. 
Cat wants to talk about him all the time, you know? Any night there's clear skies, she looks up and asks if I've ever wondered how he is up there. Do you think about what it's like for him in heaven? I dream I meet him there sometimes. It's not over for Cat. She wants to keep him alive by remembering him. But I need it to be over. When you dwell on his death, it begins to feel like something terrible might happen to you. Like you might do something terrible. Yes. Yes. Andreas, did you... Do you have children? I... I... Say nothing. <laughs> what a choice-based game. Why, why this face? Why the shocked emote for this moment? Uh, Andres? I, I... Andres, are you alright? Master? Uh, I'm fine. I, I didn't realize a thing was coming up. I, I hit it too fast. I shouldn't have brought this up. I'm sorry, Brigida. There's nothing to apologize for. I'm glad you cared to ask that people care about him being gone. It takes the weight off me having to carry it all. Does Martin talk about him? No, almost never. Wolf passed while Martin was gone. Now he pretends like our son never existed. I suppose he's because he's not truly our son. Jost didn't get to know Wolf. <sighs> it's been good to see you again, Andreas, but I should go. Of course. Be well, Brigida. Be well. God damn. Zooey Mama! The drama continues. Alright. I just want to see how she's doing, you know? But there's nothing ever going on with her. So I guess I guess no no news is good news generally. Anything going on here? No, no, no. Oh! Hey Andreas, you really think those soldiers are gonna attack the town? God knows. I wish he'd tell us. I'm starting to get scared. We'll be fine, Hans. This'll work out. I hope so, Andreas. Anything going on in the Gertners? For chance? Big York! Hey, Andreas. Can't get to jet. Can't get. Yeah. Can't get your dad to calm down. Sorry, Andreas. I've tried talking to him, but he won't back down now that Otto's. Well, I don't know what else to do. We won't make the winner if we don't do something. Let me solve Otto's murder first, then we can worry about the rest. I don't know if we have that long. You'd better hurry, Andreas. I'll let you get back to it then. Until later. Until then. Andreas. Check in on Ursula. Andreas. Oh, Peter. Greetings, greetings. See, I wish they had a little notification saying, or like little icons that said, you can have a conversation with this person. Because like, there have definitely been times where I've gotten information about the case from having conversations with people. And I don't want to miss that. 
But at the same time, I don't necessarily want to go through every single person in the entire, like, you know, province of Tasing or town of Tasing to, like, get that. It's just a lot. Alright. I am going to investigate the situation in the forest. I think that is the play. And if it yields nothing, then guess I'll die. Ready to see where this goes, Master. Let's get going. Let's get going. I still don't know his voice. I don't know how to do a Columbo voice. I don't know what a Columbo voice is. Just, uh, one more thing. I don't know. What are these buildings? What is this place? It's some kind of Roman ruin. Like the aqueduct in the meadow. Look, Master Andreas, the flowers. Yep, you're there. Ah, ah finally! Maybe we'll find something useful after all. Let's look around. All these flowers growing here. A Roman depiction of a nymph. There's an inscription underneath. Probably a dedication. The Romans believed that keeping the nymph of the spring happy would ensure their water stayed fresh. This, this sister must have doubled as her temple. Ooh, interesting. I didn't expect to see any Latin inside an aqueduct. Another inscription. Still in good shape. Do I speak Latin? Am I crazy? Oh, you can click to move, too. No, not that. A little Greek, but different from Italian, I guess, or different from Latin. You'd think that'd be this. You'd think that'd be enough, call, like markers, carried over at this point to make it count. But whatever. Ugh, this la this land is carved sloppily into the stone. That's odd. Is that what it looks like, Master Andreas? Yes, the costume the killer was wearing when they ran past us. So we're just assuming that that's the killer. We're just like, yeah, that is the killer. Okay, I get, I'm sure. Whatever. So much for us finding it in the home of the killer. Well, perhaps there's a clue inside. When Florian examined the coat of Baron Lothbogel, we fell! I have you, Master Andreas. Casper, go get help. I won't let you fall. It's not a long drop. Just get someone to bring a rope. I can't bandage you, Master. Bringing a rope isn't abandoning me. I suppose that is true. Oh, god damn it, Casper. Well, we're all wet, but I don't think I hurt anything. I guess that wasn't really that long a fall. I can't, I can't diss on the boy. The important thing is that you aren't hurt. Let's focus on getting out of here. Of course, Master. I wish I had a little more light down here. Can't see a thing, can you? Uh... I'm gonna look around and see if I can find a way out. What 
are you, what are you doing? Oh? Oh? A little, a little genius boy here? Oh my god. He's a god? He's a god to your gamer? Flint and steel moment? Yes! We stand a fucking smart king. Uh, that seems patronizing. That should help. I just remembered how flammable these brush rags are. Why were you carrying around the flint and steel? Well, you never know when you might need some fire. Clearly true. What is this place? A cistern. It must collect water from the spring to feed into the aqueduct. The aqueduct in the meadow? I suppose so. Then all we need to do is follow it back. Perhaps. All right. Smart kid. To the lower aqueduct. Looks like the tunnels have collapsed here, May Master. Must lead toward the town. It looks like this gap. Do you want me to try to squeeze through? I don't know. It's, it seems risky. I can do it, Master Andreas. No, I'm sorry. I don't want something to happen to you. Of course, Master. There must be another way we can go. Damn, that permanently locks it off. Okay, I just wanted to investigate more, but I also don't want my child to get crunched. Of course, we can't run through the cistern. We have to walk. Jump across. Uh, no, let's not do that just yet. Oh my god, why does it have to be so long? What is in here? More rubble. Where do you think this goes? Well, it goes up, so it probably leads out. I don't think I can squeeze through that gap. We need to find something to move the, lo the rock. Something to give us leverage. Wait. Huh? Never mind. Let's find a way out of here. Find something to get leverage on the rocks. Okay. Let's see if we can find some leverage. Maybe it's on the other side of the gap, but I don't want to. I don't want to risk jumping across. So we can be sure. Okay. I can't use any of this debris, I guess. Sag. Uh, I'm really abusing the fact that I just got a raise at my job. I, uh, I really want to order delivery again for, for dinner, but I really shouldn't. I should be saving more of my money. Oh. Alright, there's no, there was no risk whatsoever, I guess. Lamau. Crypt. 
what is in the crypt. Jesus, this just keeps going. Okay, what is this? Oh? Hello? Is this a door? It appears to be so. A strange one. Where does it go? I'll try to nudge it. It must be another secret entrance into the abbey. Another? When I was investigating the Baron's death, I found a secret entrance from the abbey's library into the crypt. Yeah, okay. We, Casper, we literally went through that together earlier. Come on now. Could the abbot use this door to escape? Escape to where? We can't even find a way out. That's a fair point. It's possible that the abbot doesn't even know it's here. What's that sound, Master? Snoring? Is someone sleeping on the other side of the door? Hey! Wake up! What should we do, Master? We're not getting through this door, so we need to find something to lever the rocks out of the way. Of course. But man, I could kill some fucking fast, dude. I might, I might honestly just cave and get some goddamn Taco Bell. I would not feel happy about it, but I am tempted. Uh, what do you guys think? Taco Bell tonight? Oh, it says don't break the bank on it. Don't fucking harass me like that. And what's this? There's a big crate. Maybe we can get out that way. It's too high for either of us to reach. Climb on my shoulder. Climb on my shoulders and see if you can push it out of the way. Climb on my shoulders and see if you can push it out of the way. I don't know, man. I'm just I'm losing it. Oh my god! It keeps going back to the fucking abbey. It looks like a kitchen. The Abbey Kitchen? What else is up there? I don't know. I don't think so. It's big, though. Or, I don't think so. It's big, though. Of course. We must be under the convent. Do you see any of the nuns? No? Hello? Nothing. Where could they be? I doubt the sisters loiter in the kitchen all day long. Can you lift the grate off? There's something heavy above me. I can only lift a little, and I don't think I can squeeze through. I might be able to breach? Hey, there's our lever. Come on, there you go. I got a fire poker. Excellent. We can use it to move the rocks and get out of here. Oh, of course, Master. Alright. Parkour back across. So far, um... We're getting nothing from this lead, so that's unfortunate. I don't know. While we're while we're doing all this fucking walking simulating, I'm I'm just like going back to we don't have any evidence on Miller. But he's also a fucking dickhead. But at the same time, 
Listen, the the cause that that brother guy was putting the money towards was noble, right? But he still extracted. He he fucking like wrung all of the extra wealth out of the community as possible. And we're in the situation we're in because he was fucking with the budget. So, like, I don't know if he should get out of this one, if I'm being completely honest. Like, we literally wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Brother Guy. I don't know. I don't know. Does Do the ends justify the means? It's It's tough. Try using the fire poker from the kitchen to shift the rocks out of the way. Or was that him speaking? Oops. I don't know. Bro, if a fire poker can do that, I feel like your hands could have also done that. Wait, I still hear something. <gasps> oh! go that's what i was looking for all right all right all right i think it was the innkeeper's wife we heard no well okay no that can't work because because the scream came from the location i mean it could have there, there's multiple women in town though it could have been her leaving and some other woman found him and screamed i don't know you shouldn't come here during the day I had to. The farmers are out of blood. Or the farmers are out for blood. And? Did you fail to notice the soldiers gathering around the town? When the fighting starts, we need to be indoors. You know that's not why I'm here. Then quit wasting my time and get to the point. Don't play stupid. We both wanted Otto gone. Oh! Now he is. I didn't kill him, did you? Why would you ask me such a thing? Because of the note. Because of the note, you stupid cow. Because of the note that sent you into hysterics. Because you're behaving like a woman who committed a murder and is afraid of being caught. How could you th- Stop. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you did or didn't. He's dead. The idiot peasants can't beat the ground with their pitchforks and nothing... Or the idiot peasants can beat the ground with their pitchforks and nothing will come of it. What about the artist, Andreas? He won't be a problem. We went hunting together and I suggested he look into Martin Bauer for the murder. Have you done anything to raise Andreas' sus uh, suspicions? I don't think so. Good. Then just wait. Time will run out for Peter and the rest of his worthless kind. By evening, the Duke's men will overrun the town. The farmers don't stand a chance. The Abbot will stay in power. Pilgrims will keep coming to the shrine and staying at your inn. Yes, good. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Be quiet. Go home. Don't come here again unless it's for a quick fuck. If you want comfort, talk to your fat husband. Don't bother me with your hysteria. I, of course. I'm sorry. Hmm. Me thinks there are two suspects for me to prosecute now. So, okay. Back to the to the brother guy question, right? We We already told the abbot about his mishandling of the finances. So, like... And I'm not even sure I'm happy that I did that in retrospect. Not knowing why he was fucking with the funds entirely. Like, I don't know if the Abbot should have known that. Because I kind of still fucking hate the Abbot. He's a bitch. But, like... He will receive some reprimands for his actions. Hopefully they don't kill him. But we'll see. Um... And then, so so that so so he's gonna face some repercussions for his actions of fucking over the townsfolk. Um. Now we have two other people to convict for Otto's murder. I'm glad we're finally out of there, Master. What a strange adventure. 
قهر Do you think Mistress Hannah could have killed Otto? <sighs> She's only been pretending about the town's safety. She's only concerned with the shrine staying open. Why would that make her want to kill Otto? If the peasants overthrew the abbot, they might loot or destroy the shrine. Without the hand of St. Moritz, there's not much reason for pilgrims to travel to Kearsau. They'd hardly be any visitors to the Golden Hand. Exactly. Now we know Hannah has a motive. It's possible she'd kill to protect her family's inn. We need to talk to Nico and Killian to see just how committed she was. But first, let's go back to the Golden Hand and clean up. People will get suspicious if we walk around town like this. Good idea, Master. Alright, alright, we're gonna solve this murder, folks. Everyone will be waiting to hear my evidence now. Best head in the town and prepared to be named be prepared to name a suspect. Alrighty. The proprietor the proprietress. Miller. She was going to let someone kill Otto because of the uprising and threaten the pilgrim to this to try and Disastrous for the golden hand. This is clear she's having an affair with the miller. Crazy how that one works. Hey, Hannah, how's it going? Hello, Master Mailer. Anything I can do for you? Uh, no, nothing. Sorry to bother you. That's uh, Killian. Oh, was it him that said that he saw some his his parents his mom cheating or something? Hello, Killian. Do you have a moment? Uh, sure. Something wrong with your room? No, no. I wanted to see if you'd notice anything of odd about your mother lately. Odd how? Does she ask you to watch the inn by yourself very often? Oh. Well, sometimes, I guess. Dad and I look after the place more in the evenings when she gets tired, but... Lately, she's been leaving during sex. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I bet she has! Woohoo! She says she brings food over to the townsfolk at the rat house. So, I usually watch the inn until she gets back. Hmm. There was one other time. Yes? Mom left in a hurry one night, and when I was cleaning up around the bar, I found this note. He will destroy the Abbey. He'll swallow... Hella will swallow the hand of St. Moritz, the Rat House, after St. John's Eve. Mmm. Mmm. Another note. I've seen several like this before. Oh, but what does it mean? Mmm. St. John's Fire. I wonder if that means the bonfire. I think the note was meant for your mother. Do you think that's why she left in a hurry? Perhaps. The note says the hand of St. Morris is in danger. The inn makes most of its, most of its income on uh, pilgrims traveling to see the hand, right? Yes, but who would want to destroy the hand of St. Moritz? It's a holy relic. Peter and the peasants are ready to revolt. If things got violent, the hand might just be destroyed in the skirmish. That's their typo. That's not mine. So, someone was warning my mom with this note. It seems so. Mom doesn't like Otto's ideas. She and Dad argue about it sometimes. When she left for the rat house with food, I think she was trying to find Otto. Uh-oh. Just... Don't say anything to Dad, all right? He doesn't need to know. All right. Thank you for bringing it to me, Killian. This helps my investigation. It, it, it does. I, I'm glad I can help you then. I should get back to work. See you later, Master Mailer. Oh, God! We're gonna kill this kid's mom! No! Until then.
Oh god. Oh no. I mean, I got to talk to the father. This this one's this one's not staying under wraps. Wow, wow, wee wow. Wow, wow, wee wow. And there's no time for dinner, right? Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's time to present our findings. Hello, Andreas. Can I help you with something? Actually, I'd like to talk to you about your wife. Anna, what about her? Do you know what she gets up to over by the Roman ruins? I... Y yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. It must be hard for you. Quite, but I love her, and I have to think of Killian. Killian. I, I just don't know what to do. I don't really understand her. I often don't understand my wife either. What are we to do? All I know is something has to change. An unhappy marriage is a wretched way to live. Believe me, I know. Stand up to her and carve out some path towards happiness. Uh, I don't know how. Before you can solve your marriage, there's a bigger problem you need to think about. Show sympathy for what Nika was going through is points down? What the fuck? Okay, well, I don't know. Was I supposed to neg him into like, or, or could I have lost more points if I was much more of an asshole? Uh, she's glad Otto died. Did you know that? I, I, I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Really? She never said anything to Otto to, uh, about Otto to you. No, never. She never did. Now please leave me be. Wow. I mean, listen. We're gonna we're gonna fucking commit to our findings, like, in a second. So we might as well just call her out now. Hello, Master Mailer. Anything I could do for you? Yes, actually. You must be a... You must want a break from all the work sometimes. A way to let off steam. I don't understand, Andreas. But really, Hannah, Lanehart... You could do better. What? What are you talking about? I know you're... I know you're cheating on your husband with Lanehart. Uh, how did you know? Did Lanehart tell you? It's not hard to figure out. Does... Does Nico know? Yes. Oh, Lord save me. Damn it, Andreas. What do you want from me? What matters the most? The truth. A gift endowed unto, unto humanity by God above. The truth. The truth is that Lanehart is a handsome man. Strong and forthright. He knows what he wants. A proper man. Not like Nico. Nico is so boring. Weak. He avoids taking a stance. Avoids making the tough choices. I see. So when it comes to tough choices... If you're so willing to cheat on your husband... Whoa. Damn. Alright, I made some made some bad choices there. I bet you do whatever it takes to keep the inn running. My god, Andreas, are you accusing me of killing Otto? I disagreed with Otto, but why would I want to kill him? Look around! It's tasting better with him dead. First you hold the ruin of my family over my head, and now this. Unless there's anything more you need, I won't abide by this foolishness. 
No, Hannah. Sorry to bother you. Good day, Andreas. Well, that was a bust. Couldn't, gain any, couldn't gleam anything more from there. But maybe... Laneheart's not gonna fucking cave, right? There's no way. Of course, I can't talk to Elsa about it. Poor Elsa. Hey, bro, you got anything to say? Andreas. Hello, Laneheart. You have a moment? Sure. What do you want? I know about you and Hannah. So? I don't give a damn about that you're cheating, but I heard you two by the ruins. I told Hannah not to meet me there in the middle of the day. Stupid bitch. You think I give a shit who knows about us? I fucked most of the women in this town, Andreas. No one has ever done anything about it. You won't change that. You don't scare me. What do you want? Hannah's got dark hair. Hmm. That's not good for her. You asked Hannah if she could be a murderer, but she never answered. Do you think she killed Otto? Or, sorry. You asked Hannah if she could be a murderer, but she never answered. Do you think she killed Otto? Not very delicate about the matter, are you? No, I don't think she did. She's a devilish woman, sure, but too cowardly. She won't even admit to her husband she's a cuckold, much less murder Otto. I told you already, look to Martin. There's something off about him, and Otto knew it. Now, can we be done with this tiresome Inquisition? I have things to do. I think... Uh, Hannah's gotta go... I don't like it, but I think Hannah's gotta go. Oh boy. I think it's time to deliver our findings to the court. Yeah. We don't have much time, so let's get this over with. I don't I know some of you are frightened, some of you wanna give up, but we have to see this through. Maybe we can get what we've been fighting for. Maybe we can't get what we've been fighting for, but we can get justice for Otto. That's right, for Otto. Justice. Dad. What about the Duke's soldiers? They've been getting closer all day. I know. That's why we have to do this now, before it's too late. All we need now is for Andreas to tell us who did it. No more stalling, Andreas. We need to know who killed Otto, and we need to know now. Did Andreas even tell us the truth? Uh... What? Why not? I didn't lie seven years ago, and I'm not gonna start now. Peace, peace. If Andreas names the guilty party, they should face the law, not a mob. I'm not debating this old. I'm not debating this old Rick. We're out of time. Acting now is the only way to get justice. We can't let anything stop us. A name, Andreas. Just give us a name. We'll do the rest. She made it, everyone. She made it. Rachel gave birth to a baby girl. Quiet, quiet. Everyone needs to stand back and give Rachel space. Yes, Agnes, of course. All is well. 
Praise God. Safe and sound. The baby girl. Baruch Hashem. Everything going on. With everything that could have happened. God be praised. Thank God. Such a blessing. Thanks be to God indeed. Oh. <gasps> Aww. Peter, I'm sorry. I can't keep supporting you anymore. I understand your cause, but... I need to protect my daughter and keep my friends safe. I've already lost Marie and Bert. I can't bear to lose anyone else. If bowing to the Duke's wishes will protect us, I'll do it gladly. I believe in the cause, Peter, but not at the cost of any more violence. Ah. Uh... <sighs> Listen, I really feel bad about how I came into this session with just ignoring Klaus's letters. So, I kind of feel obligated to side with him on this one. But, like, I also kind of feel like you can't just start licking the boot even when times are tough. I don't know, man! I don't know! Ugh. <sighs> I'm sorry, Klaus. I, I, I already tanked our relationship. I don't know, man. Klaus, we cannot back down in the threat of, in the threat of violence. Please excuse me, everyone. I, I need a moment to myself. Uh. <laughs> Your baby! No! Maybe he's right. This is too much. Read about what? Our safety? That is not so straightforward. How can you all so easily give up? That soldier said the Duke would consider con concessions for the town if we release the abbot. Surely that will be enough. Uh, I don't know where I want to go. People are going to die, man. Fuck. Ah, oh, shit. There, there is reason. There is room in the law to allow a peaceful resolution. We should trust Andreas, uh, Andreas's expertise and judgment, and trust in the law as well. Force will not solve anything. Letting the abbot go would be justice, wouldn't it? If he's not the one who killed Otto. You townsfolk don't understand. Letting the abbot go won't fix anything. If we can't get the con concessions we need. All peasants will starve and die in the end, and then where will tasting be? Besides, Otto's death needs to be vindicated. Don't walk away from this now, Ulrich. I have not swayed from the cause, Peter. Rest assured. But Ulrich, this isn't your fight. Gret, it is moral and Christian to stand with the peasants. I cannot do otherwise. Damn you all... Such behavior is reckless and cruel, especially right now. Get out, all of you! Let Rachel rest. Yes, Agnes. We'll go now. Andreas, we're not done. We must still find justice for Otto before the Duke's soldiers arrive. Let's let Ra let's leave Rachel and the baby be at, at least. Well. Here we go! Viz Major! Ooh boy! 
No more stalling. No more interruptions. Tell us what you know, Andreas. Give us a name. Give us a name or the monks can burn along with the precious books. Mobbing the culprit won't give you any concessions. Let's just give the murderer to the Duke's men instead. The Duke's men have forced us to act. We can worry about the abbot and the soldiers after we've dealt with the killer. Tell us. I have one more- I have one more condition. God damn it, Mailer! We don't have time for this! He's just a boy, Peter. Please! What? Leaf? Yes, fine. The boy can leave. It's not his fight. Jesus! I'm being punished for being a good dad. This is incredibly fucked up. Oh, uh, Please, Casper. I, I couldn't live with myself if something happened to you. No. No, Master Andreas. I won't leave you. I know you don't want to, but you have to. Find your way back to Salzburg. Back to your family. Uh, please. Master Andreas, you'll teach me again when this is all over, right? Of course, Casper. I'll be right behind you. All right. I'll see you soon, Master. Wait, but he does leave! What? Huh? This game has no choices! It even, it, even when it acts like my effects have consequences, they then retroact to not have consequences. Who killed Otto? Oh, I just get to choose. I just straight up just say a name, and then they fucking kill him. And I don't even get to pick! I don't even get to pick the goddamn... I don't even get to pick Miller. I mean, I was kind of not for him to begin with, but like... Wow, okay. Feel the pain. <laughs> Live in the pain. I don't... Martin doesn't make sense. Of somebody who is trying to start a new life and lay low would not murder somebody just because they might out them to the town. Like, the town can live with that, and Otto wasn't going to reveal that to the townsfolk. Like, it might have made him worried, but it wouldn't have made him worried enough to kill him. Guys, <laughs> we have... The most evidence against Guy. This is so tough. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's read through it. I found the Abbey's financial ledger in the sacristy. Brother Guy was balancing the books using a double bookkeeping method. He keeps meticulous records, maybe too meticulous. There was a mostly blank scrap of parchment between the pages. Its purpose is unclear. I found a book in the abattoir that seems quite out of place. It's manual. It's a manual on enacting necromancy rituals. There's also a loose piece of paper with handwritten notes tucked between the pages. I found fresh lemons tucked inside Brother Guy's old scribe desk. Odd. Brother Guy used lemon juice to write an invisible message on the sheet of parchment inside the abbey ledger. By holding the parchment over a flame, I was able to make the hidden message appear. It was... In a, in a, it was a second brief ledger of deposits that Brother Guy was making to a Fugger Bank account through a contact in Augsburg. This is clear evidence that he is stealing money from the Abbey. Sister Amelie overheard Guy's confession to uh, Father Thomas. Otto saw him writing in the Abbey's financial ledger and confronted him about it, determined to prove the Abbey was hoarding money. Guy confessed to Father Thomas. 
uh, that he was embezzling money from the Abbey. Sister Amelie told us she recognized that guy was abusing dis- the sealed confession to ensure Thomas would not tell the Abbot. Now I need to see if I can find any more evidence of Guy's deed. Before, Brother Guy gave me the, a note he'd received shortly before Otto's murder. It seemed to suggest Otto knew about the Abbey's financial situation and told Guy where he would be found on that night. It's yet another note from the thread puller. I found a jar in the herb huts. Yeah, okay, I know that he took the money. We know that. That is 100% confirmed. I have you mute because I'm in a social setting, but I wanted to stop by and watch because the second trial also pogs. Well, thank you for stopping by, Jacob. Appreciate it. Let me, let me put out a message for you since you can't hear me. Why does guy have such a noble... Casper and I overheard Hannah Virgen speaking with Linhart Mueller. <sighs> you killed him? Oh my god! Wow! you about this later jacob but you you missed out on some stuff here uh <laughs> wow 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 we uh okay i think i'm gonna go with hannah martin just doesn't make sense i fuck i'm gonna kill someone's mom and someone's wife that he's fine with Getting cuckolded it over because she he loves her so much. Oh God, I I'm sorry, man, but she she's the most likely one. Like, <sighs> man. I spilled to the abbot before learning he was sending the money to Jewish people. I'm sure he's getting excommunicated around this. So I am also anti-Semitic. No, I'm not. I don't want to say that. I don't want to type that out on stream. So I am also cringe fail for that one. Yeah, that is that is not a not a great thing to type and send out out of context. Um, I think I gotta go with Hannah. She has motive. We heard a woman scream. There was also someone running from the scene of the crime to that spot. Um, and I might just be forgetting the order of events. Maybe the scream happened before someone ran by. I don't know. Um, but whoever ran by had dark hair. Hannah has dark hair. Running to the aqueducts. Getting through. Going back to Linhart's... Well, no, but Linhart was at the... I don't know. I'm going with Hannah. Sorry. That's it. Anna Berggren, Anna Berggren killed Otto to protect the inn. To protect the inn? Why would the inn be in danger? I overheard Hannah confiding in Lanehart by the old ruins in the meadow. She was afraid that if Otto pushed the abbot out, the hand of St. Morris would go with them. No relic, no pilgrims, no golden hand. We should have known. She's a newcomer here. Never supported the peasants, never supported what Otto was doing. And if she was sneaking off to the ruins to talk to that bastard Lanehart. Well, I don't think anything more needs to be said. Alright, Peter. 
We've heard Andreas out, but the accused should be allowed to defend themselves. Oh, shit! Leonard's coming out with the gun! Hold on, let me let me switch this over so y'all can see this shit. Uh, Not that. This. There we go. <laughs> oh, fuck! You're not going anywhere, Peter. You're not getting anyone. None of you are. And it is under my protection, and you're out of time. Peter, I'm so delighted I was able to snuff out the flickering flame of your pathetic rebellion. Listen to me, all of you. It's over. You're done. The only thing you can do now is release the abbot and pray for the Duke's mercy. If any of you people set foot near my mill, you'll get none from me. Damn him! Damn him! He thinks he can stop us? All of us? He can't! Peter, this has gone far enough. We have to release the abbot before it's too late. To hell with the abbot, Ulrich! If you- and if you won't help us, to hell with you! <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jacob! You are fucked up for that one! Oh, God. I mean, okay, at this point, like, the military is gonna slaughter you all if this goes through. Peter, listen to Ulrich, he's right. No, he's not! The law doesn't allow for mob justice. If you do this, you could all be punished. They'll punish us anyway! They've been punishing us for years! I'm not going to let them punish us anymore. Not tonight! Not ever again! To the mill! Oh boy. Oh god. Stay back, brutes! This won't end well for any of you! Hedda has my protection, and I won't hesitate to shoot you like the animals you are! So stay away from my fucking mill! And you, Andreas. I thought you might have learned something from our little chat. Seems you really are as pathetic as the rest of this lot. <sighs> Just give us the murderer, Lanehart. Don't make things worse. Fuck you, Andreas! I thought you had a backbone, but you're a spineless bastard! Oh, boy. Elsa, take the boy and go. You don't need to be involved in any of this. Oh, thank God they're getting out of here. No! Elsa, get back in the mill! Oh, that was Paul. Don't you dare disobey me, Paul. You hear me? Get your mother back inside! I'm not staying here any longer. I'm taking Mom, and we're leaving. Somewhere far far away from you. Oh, fucking king, Paul! Fucking king! You regret this, boy! I won't be responsible for how your life turns out if you leave! Lanehart, let them go. You've lived under your- they've lived under your rule long enough. I should have expected this from you, Paul. You've always been a sad excuse for a son. And Elsa, if you don't th if you do this, you won't find anyone else to love you. You'll be a feckless old crone like that Attilia. Elsia. What? Like that Otilia, Elsa. It's over, Lanehart. They're gone! You're not going so high and mighty now, are you? You're going to lose everything, just like us. Give up, Muller! There's more of us than you in that mill, and you can't shoot us all. Give us Hannah, you bastard. I didn't kill Otto! I was scared about what would happen to the shrine, but I would never kill someone! Please think of my family! What about Otto's family? What about my daughter? A widow with that infant son? It's too late to plead for mercy now. You're all mad! This isn't how the law works and you know it! 
You blabbering will. Your blabbering will will change nothing. You never give a damn about the law, or justice, or propriety, or fucking decency a day in your life, Laneheart. Ha! Huh. You've let me have my way for years, Peter, and done shit all about it. You've never stood up for anything, and you won't get away with further today. You won't get any further today, coward. Peter Laneheart, please. Let us search for peace tonight. Such language is not Christian. Coward, am I? Come down here and face me like a man, you piece of shit! Please, everyone, calm down! We can still talk this out! Violence is not the answer, Peter! You can't blame the man, Ulrich! Forces all Peter and his family knows! Certainly work for Christine! How dare you even speak her name, much less suggest- Leonard, you killed him! Murder! Monster, burn him! Make him pay! Justice! You've been a menace on this town long enough, Leonard! But murder, you've brought this on yourself! Let birth of the murderers die tonight! Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! Andreas, troops are advancing on this town! Ah, we need to go now! The mu we must let the abbot out so he can talk to the Duke's soldiers! You're right, let's go. Listen, Peter kind of signed himself up for this. Father Abbot, you can come out. The peasants won't hurt you now. Really? Why? Andreas has found the killer and justice has been dispensed. Peter has to keep his word. Are you sure? Please, Father Habit, the Duke soldiers have surrounded the town. We have to show them you're in no danger, that the peasants aren't holding you captive. We don't want any more bloodshed, Father. Oh, thank God, is it over? Finally. What happened at the mill? Is anyone hurt? We saw fire. Peter, stop! You've got your justice! You swore that you wouldn't hurt the Ivan or the others, remember? I did. No one else needs to die tonight. The Abbot can talk to the Duke's Herald. You held you you held Lanehart responsible for his actions. We can convince the Duke that what happened tonight was justice. Otto is dead. Ulrich is dead. We can work through this, Peter. Hope is not lost. Everything can go back to the way it was before. Right. The way it was before. Like nothing ever happened. Peter! 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 Ah, oh, Peter! Ah, oh, Peter! Why'd you do that, Peter? What is it? What did you do? Dad? God save us, he slipped the manuscripts! Nothing's ever going to change. The books! Dad, what did you do? What did you do? 
We need to get the water in the sister's well, quickly, before it spreads! Peter, the soldiers are in the abbey. They're coming this way! We need to save as many of the books as we can! No, we need to get out of here! God save us. Ah! Get out! Go! Get out! Everyone run! God save us. Andreas, let's go! Andreas, let's go! Oh, thank God. No! Andreas, come on! You got a son to go back to! Andreas! I I'm sorry. I, I can't. Andreas! And for what? For what, man? Casper, why are you here? To all interested parties, regarding investments made to Andreas Mailer, artist of Nuremberg, the creation of a mural in the Church of Our Lady, the Chamber Court upholds the rulings of the Nuremberg City Court and Council in 1526 and 1527, respectively. All claimants signed contacts, contracts containing clauses under which their investments could be returned. Andreas Mailer's death indisputably resulted from a greater power a contractually exempted circumstance, his estate cannot be held liable in the interest of feminine liberty his widow, Sabine retains all contested investments the 15th day of February Anno Domini 1534 And two houses burned that night. The mill and the church. <sighs> Ma'am, you are still kicking? Godspeed. It's like it's getting old early this year, doesn't it? Feels, at my age, it feels like the cold comes earlier every year. But we need this chill for the leaves to fall and the galls with them. What? You don't, you don't want to climb the saint's tree to pull them off? <laughs> Even in my youth, that would have required divine intervention. No, thank you. I'll stay here on the ground and wait patiently for the Lord to deliver. Don't you have ink back at your father's shop, though? For the press. He has it delivered. This is just for my own drawings. Besides, sometimes it feels nice to do things the old way. An old way it is. I would know.
Oh, little lots, all grown up. Hey, Mags, Sister Gertrude. God bless you, Master Zimmerman. I told you not to call me that. What, Mags? Why? People call me Otz. You don't see me complaining. Not even a name. It's a valley. You like being called Otz. Right? So? Why are you being so stuck up? Master Zimmerman, would you call Mary Magdalene, witness to our Lord's death and resurrection, Mags? Uh, I guess not. And it seems only fitting you should call Mistress Druckrin by her full Christian name. All right, sorry, sorry, Mag. All right, sorry, sister, sorry, Mags. Magdalene. Anyway, your dad wants to see you. What? Why? Isn't he at Rat House? At the Rat House? He is. He wants you to grab his mural sketches and bring them. Ugh, fine. I suppose this is enough galls for now. I was just about finished, too. God bless you both. Don't be long, Magdalene. The council's waiting on this. No way! Do I control her? Not sure why this falls on me, but I suppose I should get going. Hmm. <laughs> I think that Dad left the Rat House plans on his workshop bench at home, next to the printing press. No way! Okay, if I thought I was gonna play as anyone after Andreas' death, I thought it would have been fucking, uh... What's his name? I thought it w I thought it would have been Ursula. What's her name? Ursula. Um... I really feel bad about not getting to know the Zimmermans in the first act, because, like... I don't feel this connection very much. I feel- I do feel sorry for leaving him in the dust all those years, but, like... It felt disjointed, I don't know. Keep offerings for her. Careful, cues are coming near. So I'm guessing- wait, can I pick up my stuff? Or am I just gonna leave it here? What the hell? Why are you just leaving your shit here, girl? How's Smokey doing? Oh, Black Slav is back! Hell yeah! It's in green this time of year. Or sound is one of the few plants that grows year round here. Magdalene. Black Slav. Oh boy. We might cut it off early here, but I'll, I'll see what else is here. You know, I guess it's a good thing that, uh, Andreas passed away, though, because we don't have to deal with the fallout of, of talking to Nico and the, and looking at the golden hand after, uh, you know, we, we fucking sentenced their wife to death. Hi! Oh, he's cheery. We effectively don't have to deal with the consequences of our actions. Hooray! Magdalene. Alright, there's nothing going on here. Just people saying hi. Go get our things in. Artemis? No, oh, who's Artemis? That's a new name. This is a new house. Black Till. Oh, I found a new... Oh! Hi, Magda! Hello, Christina. What are you doing today? Helping, Mom. Oz is right. You're really pretty. 
Oh, thank you, Christina. You're really pretty, too. <laughs> thank you. Don't tell. It's a secret. Oh, I'll keep it a secret. <laughs> You're funny, Magda. I love Magda. Well, I'm glad that she was able to move on. Hope Otz is, uh, doing alright with their stepfather. Where am I going? Here? Here, right? Sorry, not the Zimmerman's house, the Drucker's house. Zimmerman was the guy that died. Here's our bedroom. Wonder who was the thread puller? He gave, he gave everyone motive to do it. To do the various things. Ah, oh, the rat house mural sketches. I think this is what my dad wants. I think these are all of the plans. What is... Is this part of the plans? Oh! Stop. Huh. <laughs> Jesus, just dunking on dunking on them, huh? <clears throat> what an odd color. We don't have ink like this one. At least I don't think we do. Well, whatever. I'll bring it just in case. Alright. I'd better get these over to the rat house. Let's see if Papa remembers this at all. Andreas passed this on to him before he passed. I don't remember if he did or didn't. Look at the boys! Hey again, Mags! You serious? I just told you not to call me that. What are you all doing out here? Don't you have better things to do? What business is that of yours? Not me. Only work's done, Max. Apollo? Ooh. What do you care? It's not like you've got important work to do. Ooh. Let's see. Magdalene maintains and tinkers with the press and type. Sometimes work with Baltus. Can handle anything connected with household or animal work. Efficient with balancing numbers and general accounting of data and information. Hmm. You know what? I want to maintain a relationship with Baltus. He was a, he was a cool guy. I keep the press running for my dad, and I work with Baltus on his inventions. Seems a little more important than sending around the commons, standing around in the commons in the middle of the day. Baltus's inventions are stupid. It doesn't seem like something a girl should be involved with, if you ask me. Uh, right. No one did. Calm down, Mags. You're going to get a reputation. Too late to worry about that. She already has a reputation. Ooh. Stinging, countering, and otherwise deflating people in conversation. Ooh! This is fun! Magdalene likes to playfully tease. Here, let me switch it back over. It's a little easier to see. Uh... He's in flirt with people, haggle. Magdalene is a strong negotiator. Whether it comes to finances or other matters of trade, eh. Has a penchant for sneaking around, eavesdropping in conversations and passing gossip. You know what? I'm a lover, not a fighter. Let's be a flirt. I get it. You're jealous because I'm not as sweet to you as I am to the other boys. So you, you're, so your preferred in mind invents all these scandalous stories you tell people about me. In your dreams. You're not even that pretty. That's not what you said a couple days ago. Alright, we got it. Lay off. Did you get those things your dad wanted? Yes, that's why I was on my way to the rat house. Hopefully I can drop these off and start my reading for the day. Reading? What book is so important that you need to get it back to it? Ooh. Sketches. 
scatological. I need to hold on. What does scatological mean? I'm definitely I'm definitely too dumb for this, and I'm thinking it's it's, it's definitely what I'm thinking is definitely not what it is. No, it is okay. It's characterized by obscenity or a preoccup preoccupation with obscenity. So that is pretty much what I was thinking of. What the fuck? <laughs> With a wide range of contemporary books on the Reformation and Counter Reformation. Hmm. Comic books of the day, assorted trivia, almanacs, common knowledge, and scatological stories. She can't speak any foreign language other than Italian, but she can read a little of almost all of them. That's pretty good. But I feel like I feel like what we gave her was was the Volksbooker. And I kind of want to carry that on. I almost want to look back into the VOD and see what I picked out for her. But I think that's what it was. I think it was the Volksbooker. Melusine. That's her sending from me, to me from Prague. Is that about the snake woman who takes off all her clothes? Sort of, but no. Not... Really? Or at all? Oh, does it have any pictures? Right, I want to see. Calm down. I'm not showing you lecherous dogs or anything. Or any I'm not showing you lecherous dogs anything. Don't you read all sorts of books about trees and birds and whatever? Yes, trees and birds and whatever. That's right. People are finally writing down what they see in nature instead of copying something a Greek imagined centuries ago. Do you have any books on frogs? What? Never mind. Wait. Ots, aren't you supposed to be at the rat house too? You're on the council. Sure, but it's pointless without your dad's plans. Let's go. Ugh, fine. I don't understand how we're still arguing about this. These murals should depict the truth. What we know is the truth. I don't think it's so simple, Klaus. Are you angering our lord, Father Thomas? I think Father Thomas means that the truth is not so easily agreed upon. I don't know. I'm tired of arguing. I just wanted to look nice and show what happened. Magdalene, thank you for bringing these. Maybe illustrations will succeed where talking has failed. I'm done arguing with them. I'll see you home at home for supper. It's all right, Magdalene. We don't need to see the drawings. It's not that we don't understand what he's trying to do. I didn't understand- I didn't realize that we had upset him so much. Sounds like things got worse after I left. We've been arguing about this for almost two hours. For all the good it did us, he hasn't budged. What's the point of talking if you can't make any progress? Magdalene, could you speak to your father? Help him see the things from our point of view. Father Thomas, I don't even know what you're arguing about. What is your point of view? Klaus has strong, very strong opinions on how the history of tasting of Kirchau Abbey should be portrayed. And those portrayals may upset some of our neighbors. Isn't the real concern that it's going to upset the Lord? Isn't everyone really worried about him coming here someday and seeing the revolt memorialized on the wall? You keep saying that we all agree with- disagree with him. I don't think I do. Not entirely. Not entirely. Well, what do you think, York? I know I'm not the smartest man in this room, but I know what happened to my own dad. I know what he did. It doesn't feel right to ignore what happened to him. 
what happened to Otto. Look, you all knew my dad. I never had that chance. I don't want to make the people in this town angry. I don't want to make our lord angry. None of us do. But maybe there's a way to tell this story in a way that's true without upsetting anyone. So, it's all very complicated, you see, Magdalene. Try to get him to consider a portrayal of our history that's a little less inflammatory. My father was deeply affected by the revolt. I don't think it- I won't be easy to convince him of anything. The revolt was a major event for everyone in Tasing. I know how hard it was for him. We need to come to an agreement or call off the mural entirely. He's been wanting to paint this mural for years. You can't tell him no all of a sudden. Then help us, Magdalene. Your father will listen to you. Hmm. <laughs> Fine, but only so you can paint it, not on account of you bickering like ch children. Now I'm going back home. This mess has taken up too much of my day already. Whoa! Hell yeah! Cool! Changing with the times. Magdalene. Thank you for bringing the drawings to the rat house. I'm sorry it was a waste of time. Those men don't know what they sweat. I tell them what I'm trying to do, they get scared. Then they talk and talk. They talk all day and we're never any closer to a decision. I'm sick of it. Sick of the whole thing. Dad, I'm worried about you. I know. I appreciate the concern. I suppose I haven't been this upset about something in a while. I'll get through it. I just need time. Why is it bothering you so much? We hear of all these stories about what this place was, how it came to be. And it feels like history is something that happened before, happened to other people. But 18 years ago, we lived through something, you and I. Everyone in Tasing. Everyone wants to forget about it, pretend it didn't happen. You don't. No, I don't. All those years ago, I did nothing. I was worried for you, worried for Benjamin and Rachel and Esser. I was so afraid I'd lose you. I wouldn't have been able to bear it. In the end, so many people died anyway. Peter and Ulrich and Andreas and... all of the others. And we lived. Dad, everyone says that it wouldn't have made any difference. If you and the others had fought, you would have died. I would have died. Maybe I could have stopped him from going into the mill. Maybe we could have stopped the peasants from burning it down. But we'll never know. Is that what this is about? This mural? It's a chance to put something down in a place where everyone can see. If people start to forget, this will remind them. We were here. This happened. If I don't do it, who will? You're right, Dad. I wish the men in that rat house saw me the way that you do. They'll come around. I hope so. All the arguing has left me beat. I'm going to bed early. Alright, I'm going to stay up for a bit and write a letter to Esther. Good. Please say hello to her from me. 
and her parents. I know, Dad. Good night, Magdalene. I love you. Love you, too. All this running around has left me tired, too. It would be nice to sit down at my desk and just write for a while. Can I not? Oh. Whoops. It's downstairs. It's not up here. I'm a goober. Alright. Where to begin? Ah, I should write to Esther. Dearest Esther. I hope you and your family are well. Dad sends his regards to your parents, like usual. I spent the last few days collecting oak galls with Sister Gertrude. I don't suppose you have the chance to do that in Prague. Sister Gertrude has been teaching me how to grind them into a smooth ink. It's difficult work, but you find no better ink anywhere in Bavaria. I'll send along a little bottle with this letter. Oh, did I mention? Dad started a new project. He's painting a mural of Tasing's history in our new rat house to memorialize the revolt. The whole thing is making me think, has me thinking about my own family history. Past, present, and future. Fuck, man, I don't know. This place is... This, 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 I, I don't know you! I guess I've, I've, this is just a me choice now. I mean, I want to stay in Tasing. But that's me having played as Andreas for two separate, like, acts. The printing shop has been in the family for years. I'm looking forward to taking it over. Of course, Dad will keep running it until he can't pull the levers anymore. But I'll take over sooner or later. Later. <laughs> of course, the print shop will be more profitable than anything else my husband does. Even if I marry Otz, he seems fine. He doesn't seem like the worst guy. He seems alright. He's been courting me for some time now. Everyone in town knows we're a good match. And yes, before you break the nib off your pen, I will come visit you in Prague, I promise. Try to make time to visit before winter. Life has been bustling here. Dad's been busy with the Rat House mural, so I've taken over in the workshop. I'm sure it'll be a sight to behold once it's finished. Write back to me soon. All my love. Magda. Okay, that was dinner time. Go to bed. Alright, I think we'll head to bed and then start the new day and, uh, call it a night. Bro, Pop! You gotta go to sleep! Do I sleep downstairs? God, I am blind. Excuse me. Also, who the fuck is Esther? Because I sure as hell don't know who they are. Oh, not that. Not that either. People. Daughter of Benjamin and Ra- Oh! The daughter of the, the Jewish couple that came through. That's awesome. We're in Tasing during the revolt of 1525. Friend and epistolarian of Magdalene. Martha Pfeifferin, the younger sister of the late Anton, daughter of Carl and Helena. Carl. Who's Carl? Nobody's, nobody's in this journal, because this journal's new. Of course. How could I not realize this? Silly me. And the Abbey is just 
I, I hope it isn't burned. I hope that's not what it means, but oh boy. Maxine's getting late. I should get some rest. Magdalene Druckren. Tasting. She's well read on the nature of plants and animals, as well as possessing a keen ability to think through and process information she receives, along with its implications. You know, basic reasoning skills. I, until confirmed otherwise, I think I think Casper just died because of my bad actions. My good, my good dad actions, but my bad actions in the game of making him care about me. All right, let's go to sleep. Good night. Dad? Dad! Magdalene! Dad! Hang on, I'm coming! Oh! Dad! Magdalene! What happened? Are you alright? You're bleeding! Someone... To the house. They hit me over the head. I'll go get Dr. Stoltz. Try not to move, Dad. Magdalene, it's not safe. Whoever attacked me. I, I can't carry you across town, Dad. I, I won't be long, I swear. Please, just hold on. Magdalene, be careful. I will. I'll be right back, I promise. That's, that's too many hours, guys. That's too many hours. Oh, thank God he's alive. Ugh, do you know why anyone would want to attack you, Klaus? No, maybe someone didn't like one of the books I sold them. Are you sure you didn't see a shadow and hit your head on a printing press? Come on, Jorg. You saw the workshop. Someone was looking for something. A burglar. In Tasing. That's preposterous. Well, if it wasn't an attack, what was it? Enough. This was a, it was a deliberate blow to the head. Unless any of you wish to debate my diagnosis. Oh, of course not. No, as I thought. Truthfully, Klaus, I'm surprised the blow didn't kill you. You have, had, you have a strong skull. It's a grave injury. Magdalene, you'll need to help ca take care of your father. Obviously. Of course, the mural will have to be called off now. Klaus, you absolutely cannot get out of bed. No, it has to be done. This is too important. Just give me some time to rest. I'll find a way to make it work. I don't think we need to cancel the entire project. Can't we just wait? Klaus, your health comes first. Anyway, we haven't been able to agree on what the mural should be. Indeed. It might be a best to abandon the entire idea. Fuck off, Thomas! Come on, I thought you were cool, man! With respect, Father Thomas, you are not on this council. Yes, yes, just offering an opinion. I can paint the mural. What? Mags, quit joking around. Well... I know you want to help your dad, but aren't you too young for something this big?
Damn, 19 year old on the town council, huh? You're 20. He's 19 at least. I'm old enough to run the print shop by myself, and Dad trusts me to illustrate the books. Isn't that enough? Painting, mural, uh, painting a mural this large and complicated will take a lot of skill and expertise. So? So, that's why we're having your dad make it. He's been making art forever. I agree with Paul. Klaus needs home care. You're best suited for that, Magdalene. Not a mural. What's that supposed to mean? Well, are you sure you're up for it? Physically, I mean. It's quite demanding. You'd be up on scaffolding and could fall. Are you not listening to me? I've already been doing this work for years. I know what it takes. Dad knows what it takes. Do you? I can do it, Dad. If you don't trust Magdalene to do the mural, to the hell with the lot of you. Klaus! Klaus! If you don't trust her, you don't trust me. I'll never do any work for this council again. Alright, I say we let her. Doesn't look like we have much of a choice. Very well. Alright, Magdalene. You can do it. But you still need to talk to us about what you're doing, all right? Fine. But I'm taking Dad's ideas into account. We'll... we'll figure it out. Thanks, Magdalene. Rest up, Klaus. I'll do my best, Jorg. Magdalene, just a moment. Yes, what is it? Your father is lucid, is lucid right now. But this injury is severe. His current demeanor is misleading. I know the injury is severe, Werner. I saw all the blood. Magdalene, there is damage to his brain. Uh. He may have a few weeks, even a few months left. But he's not going to survive. Can't we take him to see a surgeon? No, he can't be moved in his condition. In fact, he shouldn't move at all. And if he could, I don't think the finest Italian surgeons would know how to deal with trauma like this. So he's... just going to die? And there's nothing I can do about it. You can make him comfortable, and you can enjoy the time you have left. But time will run out before long. <sighs> you know, if I had to place a bet on the thread puller right now, Dad needs to be able to see the mural in its finished form. I don't know how much time he has left. Werner said it could be a few months, or... God protect him. I'll pick up where Dad left off. He wanted to paint the history of Taysen, from its earliest days to the revolt. I'll start with the earliest part of Taysen's history. Taysen's history. The pagan tribes and the Romans. Then I'll move on to the founding of the Abbey and Taysen's saints. After that, I should find a way to represent our recent history. Depicting the revolt, the revolt is important to Dad. People in Tasing might know some of the town's history, but not all of it. Dad said the library at Curacao had those records. He was going to write the la to the last prioress to see if he, she had any information. I should write to her now, while I'm thinking about it. Okay. Uh, if I had to bet on who the fuck did it, uh, who, who's the thread puller that's been trying to manipulate this town the whole time? The only guy that's been around and healthy and also inspecting all the bodies after the fact, and they've been in close proximity with all the murders, has been the doctor. I think he might be the thread puller. Just throwing that out there. 
But that's just a theory. A game theory. So while well, uh, I'll 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 think on that for a little bit, and I will send you all to another streamer. Uh, once I figure out who to send you to, let's see who's live right now. Uh, do, do, do. We have got John Reisinger is online. Uh, yeah, let's send it. Let's send it over to him. I love John. I love Mr. Uh, Mr. On the Spot himself. So I'll send you his way. But that'll do it. What a what a way to end the act. I didn't. I thought that we might have been taking over Casper's role, but I guess he died. So no. And then Andreas just dies, and we get no conclusion to like his journey throughout all of this. I mean his. The conclusion to his journey was that he wanted to save the history, which is the theme for this game. So that makes sense. But yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. Um, but I'm down to play as uh, Drucker's daughter. That that seems cool. I like that. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what happens next time. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there. And until next time, peace out.